the interesting thing about what he talked about was it's a fundamental um, challenge of their business model. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, if you're Facebook, this is your business. This is like, um, it would be like if Sasha Baron Cohen got out and said, um, oil companies should all be renewable companies, renewable energy companies. It, they can't. Like, that's the problem. It's not that they don't police well enough. It's that they literally monetize you saying crazy shit. Like, part of his speech is, is about, yeah. like, you know, they, they the crazier the shit that gets said, the yeah. better it is. Twitter's revenue went up because Donald Trump was elected president or ran for yeah. president. Right. That, yeah. That is it's fundamental a, to their business model. How do you shift that? You don't. Yeah, it kind of, it kind of reminds me of of the sort of the rise in popularity of, of people like Howard Stern, where the idea was that people who hated Howard Stern listened longer, right? Like they they actually spent more time listening to him. So it's, to me, it's kind of the same thing. Like it, yeah. There's just there's this weird flypaper effect to Facebook. Except that Howard Stern, you couldn't invest in. Right. Like at some point. So the corporate accountability structure is effectively shareholders are supposed to hold corporations accountable and governments hold them accountable as citizens. People hold right. them accountable as customers, but shareholders hold them accountable as companies. And most of these companies, you can't hold them accountable like no, they are fake we, yeah. public companies. Yeah. As we pointed out, uh, they are essentially dictatorships shouldn't be called public companies and that in and of itself means any challenge to their business model doesn't really matter if they don't want to change 